टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट ईगो एंड डिल्यूजन अहमकारा एंड मुड्ढा सो द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज दैट द थ्री कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द ब्राह्मण आर अज अज अजा सोल परमात्मा एंड नेचर सो द परमात्मा विल वेरी रेयरली कम टू प्ले विद द नेचर when it is called an avatara but the the individual consciousness moities the chit bindus shiv chit or the atmans they will come on the time so when the atman comes and uh, mingles with the nature the duration of mingling is a jeev bhut or biological body so it's very important to delineate what we are not and what we are the atman and the sheets that are surrounding the atman so that's why uh, know that the prakriti is eightfold prakriti rashtadha bhumi rapunalo vayu kham mano bhidhirecha ahankaritya me bhinna prakriti rashtadha so the eight elements of prakriti are in the sequence if you look from heaviness to light levit levity they are भूमि अर्थ भूमि अपि विच इज वाटर नल विच इज फायर वायु एंड आकाश एयर एंड स्पेस मनो बुद्धिर अहंकार सो देन कम्स द हैवीनेस ऑफ माइंड एंड आफ्टर दैट इज द इंटेलेक्ट एंड द लीस्ट हैवी इज द ईगो and of course what is uh, even lighter than ego is the soul so the heaviness component decreases as you try to quantify these eight powerful modalities bhumi rapun nalo vayu kham mano buddhi rev ahankar ityam me bhinna prakriti rajda so these eight elements now what is the most proximity closest to the soul ahankar what is next to it intellect buddhi what is next to it manas mind what is next to it space dhvani what is next to it air touch what is next fire vision sight form what is next water ras creation nutrition what is next earth substance form physical form smell ghran so that is the sequence just to remember that those are the levels of impregnation that the soul will undergo when it hits planet earth mother nature so that's why god says mamai vansho jeev loke jeev bhuta sanatana mana shasthani indriyani prakritani karshiti mamai vansho my ansh my moiti gets situated in prakriti and then it starts to enjoy the prakriti because the role of the atman you have to remember is bharta and bhokta it will support it will perform and it will suffer cause and effect bhokta can be suffer or enjoy but bhokta is basically one who is at the receiving end so mamai vansho jeev loke jeev bhuta sanatana mana shasthani indriyani prakriti sthani karshiti prakristhan prakriti sthani situated in prakriti karshiti does obtain perform so those are the activities that the mamai vansho or the atman is performing when it is in prakriti then there is another shloka shaira mai bhavmati chapit kranti shvara grihis vitani syati vayu gandha nivashayat when it departs it takes with itself these moities with itself and slowly they will be dismantled just like a rocket when it is dismantlement goes high so that is mamai vansho to explain that atman is a component of parmatman so they will go hand in hand विद्यते हृदय ग्रंथि सर्व संचय द हृदय ग्रंथि व्हेन यू ब्रेक यू विल सी आत्मन परमात्मा टुगेदर सिटिंग देयर सो दैट इज द कंपोनेंट दैट इज गोइंग एवरी टाइम व्हेन अ बायोलॉजिकल बॉडी जीव भूत इज फॉर्म सो दैट्स व्हाई द होल आइडिया इज दैट सन शुड नॉट हर्ट डैडी बिकॉज़ डैडी इज गिविंग दीस अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू द सन आप अपने बाप को ज्यादा तकलीफ ना पहुंचाएं नहीं तो फिर आपको सीधा करना पड़ता है कभी कभी तो इसीलिए अब आपको देखना है कि कैसे बच्चा डेल्यूड होता है सन या आत्मन हाउ डज इट गेट डेल्यूडेड 
because unless there is delusion there will not be sakam karm unless there is sakam karm there won't be ongoing subs- uh, sustenance of creation but that is a problem of creation of nature that is not our problem our problem is to escape the creation where we entered but now we are landlocked so we have to try to break this so first understand that the sheath that is most proximal to the soul being the ego so the ego is what will dilute the atman it has the highest influence over the atman and the more you will have ahankar vimud atma ego deluding soul more there will be sakam karma more will be the sanchit karma more will be the punar janm reincarnations required to burn off all those karmas so one of the goals is to reduce sakam karm i did not say nishkam karm nishkam karm you have to increase sakam karm you have to decrease sakam karm requires a lot of ego like we said yesterday uh, sanyasa and tyaga we are not asking you to not do uh, activity ask to do less of sakam activities and more of nishkam activities nishkam uh, laden with yagya dan and tap sacrifice charity and austerity those three have to be practiced because those are the elements of catalyst for nishkam karma okay so my moiety hurts me and my moiety is the atman and atman parmatman complex are going together so now think about activity now atman is a component of prakriti it is the most subtle component of prakriti and it is the one that dilutes the i'm sorry ego ahankar ahankar is the component of prakriti and the most lightest subtlest component of prakriti and the most proximal to the atman that's why it is in the karan sharir well its its consequence is in the karan sharir atman itself is in the sukshma sharir the subtle body but the effect of the atman which is the sakam karm karm bandhan karm bandhan aur atma ko mila denge to aapko mil jayega karan sharir causal body which is the one that is hopping from one life to another every time and then your destiny is determined by your karan sharir so this prakriti performs the activities via ahamkara but prakriti also requires an observer for the activities to unfold the activities will only unfold or there will be knowledge or reporting of the activities being unfolded when there is an observer if there is observer changes effect that is the close heisenberg's uncertainty principle that i can get into based on spirituality so for all intents and purposes for us an activity will unfold by the prakriti thanks to the ego but since we have taken a sheath of the ego it gives the apprehension that the soul is doing the activities and that maine kiya main jaunga main karunga ha 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 all those are elements of ego deluding the soul ahankar vimud atma so the biggest risk we have is our ego which is constantly dynamic growing on us all the time and deluding us so that we can get more sakam karma the more sakam karma we do the more it is enjoying and it is sinking us deeper in its uh, mantle so that's why we have to check the ego all the time not that you can avoid it totally to be living alive you need all the components to be sticking sticking together the prakriti rashtha eight components of prakriti and the atman but you can always keep in check so when the people keep them in check how do we keep them in check the layer that is just next to it is our best judge is our best weapon against the ego that is the buddhi and we'll talk about it in the next lecture how buddhi creates wisdom how wisdom dissolves confusion and how then the wisdom is the precursor to enlightenment you need the candle and then you light the candle then the light that generates itself cures the darkness otherwise the tamasic guna will totally engulf you we'll talk about it later but basically understand that 
इंटेलिजेंस विल कीप द ईगो इन चेक एंड वेन इंटेलिजेंस कॉन्स्टेंटली कीप्स द ईगो इन चेक द मेमोरी रिपोजिटरी दैट इट क्रिएट्स इज मेमोरी और माइंड सो माइंड इज द नेक्स्ट लेवल and then the next is senses so this you see how the sequence is there very clearly laid out sequence that's why the mana shastani indriyani the se- five senses plus mind six moiety complex is what helping us to solve the problem uh, by keeping ego in check anyways so prakrite kremarani guna karmani sarasha ahankar mood atma karta ha miti manate all activities are done by prakriti but the ahankar mood atma ego laden soul thinks itself to be the doer the moment it thinks itself to be a doer it gets in trouble it has created sakam karma now it has to face the consequences of those karma it has to burn them off in this janam or the next janam so how does activity happen karma well karma is basically a play of the nature like we said mana shasthani jani prakriti karshati सो देयर इट इज भूमि रापन वाई खम मनो बुद्धि रेव च खम मनो बुद्धि रेव च अहंकार सो दैट मन बुद्धि अहंकार एम बी ए कॉम्प्लेक्स दैट क्रिएट्स योर एक्टिविटीज सो द ज्ञान इंद्रिया विच इज द सेंसेज ऑफ परसेप्शन दे आर स्टिम्युलेटिंग द कर्म इंद्रिया द ऑर्गन्स ऑफ एक्टिविटी वेदर इट इज स्पीच वेदर इट इज प्रीहेंसाई लोकोमोशन एक्सक्रीशन एलिमिनेशन और रिप्रोडक्शन दोज आर ऑल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ कर्म इंद्रिया दे आर बींग प्रोपेल्ड बाय द ज्ञान इंद्रिया द प्लेजर सीकिंग एक्टिविटी नाउ वेन द आत्मन इज राइडिंग दैट वेव थिंक ऑफ आत्मन एज एन ऑब्जर्वर कैटलिस्ट इट इज हेल्पिंग द ज्ञान इंद्रिया कम टूगेदर विद द कर्म इंद्रिया टू क्रिएट द सकाम कर्मा एंड दैट सकाम कर्मा नाउ हैज टू बी बर्ंट ऑफ इज टू वाई वी हैव टू कम बैक But the more it engages in sakam karma, the atman, the more delusion it gets, and the more delusion it gets, the more identity grows on the atman, and hence creates the confusion. Because then the intelligence has been totally silenced, so the atman is constantly being made to believe that it is the doer. The ego is such a uh, such a subtle force, but such a powerful force that it makes the atman deluded. and the atman thinks itself to be doer the more it thinks itself to be doer the more ego grows on it the more ego grows on it the more sakam karma it creates the more uh, high pitched sakam karma the more identity full karma it does the more identity selfish the word self comes there the next step after ahankar vimud atma deluded soul is a self the idea of self created there and that's why ramana goes back all the time who am i he destroys the self because self is a manifestation of the identity otherwise all souls are created equal all souls are portions pratibimb mirror images of the parmatman but since they have gone into this world they have become a little chaotic and they do not have the self control that's why atman is a portion of the parmatman but not as perfect as the parmatman so ego creates duality polarity we understood here gyanendriya combines with karma indriya to create the karma the more sakam karma you do the more delusion builds on the atman the more atman perceives itself as self the ego when you say self it means the identity is growing on the atman and hence it will be facing those consequences as well through those senses mind and ego so ego creates the duality polarity the dwandva mohen and the dwandva mohen when the atman is interacting more with the dwandva mohen duality polarity of ego it creates more activities sakam karma and then creates this uh, cyclical problem that we have enlisted here the more you do this the more selfish you get the more selfish you get the more papa papa sinful activities you commit because sinful activity is a representation of accentuation of self whenever you are self centered selfish you are going to create papa there is no papa without thinking of the self there is no papa without growing of the ego identity so that's why 
देर हैज टू बी लैक ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस विनाश काल है विपरीत बुद्धि बिकॉज विनाश काल में पाप करेंगे और विनाश काल में अहंकार बढ़ेगा सो दैट इज वाई द पावनानी मनीषी नाम द पेरेंट्स दैट प्यूरिफाइज द मैन कैन ओनली बी हैड थ्रू द यज्ञ दान तप विच आर द थ्री मोडेलिटीज ऑफ निष्काम कर्म सैक्रिफाइस पेनेंस एंड यज्ञ दान सॉरी चैरिटी सैक्रिफाइस चैरिटी एंड पेनेंस सो वेन नॉट एंगेजिंग इन निष्काम कर्मा यज्ञ दान एंड तप यू आर ऑटोमेटिकली एंगेजिंग इन सकाम कर्मा अहंकार विमुड आत्मा एंड द अहंकार विमुड आत्मा रिएक्ट विथ द्वंद मोहेन डुअलिटी पोलैरिटी टू बिकम मोर एंड मोर ऑफ अहंकार विमुड आत्मा दिस इज अ पॉजिटिव फीडबैक लूप the more you are having ahankar mood atma the more you are using gyan indriya karma indriya the more accentuation or build up of the uh, self ego now the problem with that approach is this positive thing every time because the atman parmatman complex is lying in the body jeev bhuta the parmatman is being punished because of the activities undertaken by the ahankar mood atma so the parmatman गेट्स प्रद्विशंतो बेसूय का मामात्म पर देशु प्रद्विशंतो बेसूय का बिकॉज द ग्रोथ ऑफ द अहंकार क्रिएट्स द कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ द मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ द ईगो वॉट आर दोज अहंकार ब्रम दर्पम काम क्रोच संसिता मामात्म पर देशु प्रद्विशंतो बेसूय का द अहंकार विल ग्रो टू क्रिएट बल दर्प हिपोक्रेसी काम एंड क्रोध That is why three vidham narkas sedam dwaran nash namatama kama krodha tad lobha tasma detatriyam tejet kam krodh and lob all the three things are doors to hell hell meaning descent to the lower lokas lower abodes yanti dhamam gatim so what happens when there is overgrowth of ego overgrowth of ego more ego laden state hurts the atman parmatman complex in lying in the body and that hurt of the atman parmatman complex leads the parmatman to spin off the negative feedback loop now hold off enough is enough now there is time for justice nyayam now there is time for punishment the child has is running a mock now we need the parent needs to control the child baap आपको अब सबक सिखाएंगे ताकि आप लाइन पे आ जाएं और फिर से, सही से काम करें फिर तो दैट इज व्हाई व्हेन द भरता भोक्ता महेश्वरा दैट इज परमात्मा नॉट ओनली सपोर्टर एंड एंजॉयर बट आल्सो द कंट्रोलर रिमेंबर टू बी कंट्रोलर यू नीड टू बी परफेक्ट टू एंजॉय यू कैन एंजॉय इमपरफेक्ट थिंग्स कैन एंजॉय यू एंड आई आर इम्परफेक्ट सो वी कैन एंजॉय बट द कंट्रोलर नोज द लाइन ऑफ कंट्रोल वेयर टू ड्रॉ द लाइन बियॉन्ड विच it will understand the repercussions of those unhindered enjoyment hence the controller needs to have perfection enjoyer does not need to have perfection atman is a bharta bhokta but the bharta bhokta maheshwara maheshwar means maha ishwar the ultimate controller that's parmatman that is why the parmatman punishes the soul so that it doesn't do unhindered enjoyment that is causing damage to the whole system atman parmatman complex that is why how do we treat that well very simple because there was overgrowth of the ego and that is what because it was seeking the short term pleasures and the personal personification that it had developed let's destroy that personality by using the same forces the forces of manas and indriya so you will suffer in your gyan indriya you will suffer in your karma indriya you will have pain misery suffering because you have identified with the indriyas as the self so we can use that same identification to destroy your excess identification ahankar mudatma tanaham dushta kruran sansareshu naradman chipam jasran subhana shiru shev jinsu asrim yonima panna mudha janmani janmani mam aprape konte yanti adhamam gatim those deluded souls who had overgrowth of the ahankar bal darp kaam krodh mo those souls will now be punished and they will be given birth in lower yonis lower species more misery and lower lokas that is why the sapt lok bhu uh, bhu lok bhu lok bhu lok brahm uh, till the loks uh, sapt lok mahar lok jan lok tap lok uh, brahm lok all those loks are the upper lokas and our whole goal is to jump up and up but if you are using more ego then you are going to sink down and those are the hellish abodes 
datal talatal patal sutal vital those things are the lower uh, lokas so those are the lows of hellish abodes where there is a lot of pain misery suffering because the overgrowth of ego is going to be cut off here will be pruned so that's a good thing for the soul in the long term but in short term it causes pain misery suffering so obviously that should be our uh, fear of suffering is a good fear if you don't want to prolong your journey to enlightenment because that is the ultimate about go back where you came from so uh, that is where we are trying to go so in short my friends remember that ahankar mood atma is what uh, atman or soul is deluded by the ego hence the growth of delusion creates identity of self and the more self identity creates more sakam karma that is uh, trying to grow the self and hence damaging all the people around them hence that soul needs to be punished hence it will be sent to the lower lokas lower yonis where there is more misery pain suffering so the overgrowth of ego can be shed and you can come back and continue your journey towards buddhi gyan wisdom enlightenment and hence go back to the abode uh, of parmatma from where you came jai shri ram